Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to talk about a regression technique and its coefficient. So let us see what it is regression. First we see formal definition of a regression. When two variables say x and y are correlated, then the method of estimating value of one variable when that of the other variable is known is called as regression. In simple terms, if x is known, then finding y is called as regression. For example, look at this table of data. Here x values are given and the corresponding y values are also given. But for x is equal to 5, y value is missing. So the process of finding y value for the corresponding value of x that is 5 is known as regression. Now let us talk about regression lines. The formal definition says a regression line is a straight line that describes how a response variable or dependent variable y changes as an explanatory variable that is independent variable x changes. We often use a regression line to predict the value of y for the given value of x. For example, the regression line of y on x is given by y is equal to a plus byx into x or simply y is equal to mx plus c. Look at this diagram. Here coordinates of dots represents x and y values whereas the straight line passing through these dots is the regression line. Now we see equation of line of regression. The line of regression y on x is given by y is equal to a plus byx into x whereas the line of regression x on y is given by x is equal to a plus b x y into y. Here y is the dependent variable and x is independent variable. On the other hand x is a dependent variable and y is independent variable in line of regression x on y. Here b y x is called as regression coefficient of y on x whereas bxy is known as regression coefficient of x on y. We will talk about these coefficients later on. Time being we will consider a and b as just constants. Now we will see technique to find equation of line of regressions. All we need to do is just to find these a and b's. Once we get these unknowns we are through. So let us see how to find these lines of regression. To find line of regression y on x, we will first take summation on both sides of this equation. So we get summation y is equal to a into summation of 1 that is n times 1 is n plus b y x into summation of x. Now we will multiply throughout this equation by x and we will take summation on it. So we get summation x y is equal to a into summation of x plus byx into summation x square. Next we label these equations as 1, 2 and 3. We will solve equations 2 and 3 simultaneously to find the values of a and b. Once we get these values, we will substitute them back in equation number 1 to get line of regression y on x. On the similar lines, we will find line of regression x on y. To do so, we will take summation on both sides of this equation. We get summation x is equal to a into summation 1 n times which is n plus bxy into summation y. Next we will multiply throughout this equation by y and we will take summation on it. So we have summation xy is equal to a into summation y plus bxy into summation y square. Now we label these three equations as 1, 2 and 3. Then we will solve these equation number 2 and 3 simultaneously for the values of a and b. Once we get the values of a and b, we will put it back into equation number 1 to get line of regression x on y. Now let us talk about regression coefficient. We usually denote regression coefficient by bxy or bYx. 
it indicates the amount by which the change in x must be multiplied to give the corresponding average change in y or in simple language it indicates the amount of y changes for a unit increase in x in this way it represents the degree to which the line slope upwards or downwards now we will see how to find regression coefficient dyx that is regression coefficient y on x is given by r into sigma y upon sigma x where r is the correlation coefficient when we simplify this we find dyx is summation xy upon summation x square whereas coefficient of regression of x on y is given by bxy is equal to r into sigma x upon sigma y is equal to summation xy upon summation y square as i said r is correlation coefficient whereas sigma x is the square root of variance of x that is a standard deviation similarly sigma y is square root of variance of y that is standard deviation of y note that r square is given by bxy into byx that is product of regression coefficient of x on y and regression coefficient of y on x also note that bxy and byx always takes the same sign and the sign of r is also same as the sign of these two coefficients if bxy and byx are both negative then sign of r is also negative also note that r takes the value from minus 1 to 1 now let us see an example on this here the question is to find a regression line of y on x for the following data here data given as values of x and values of y we are asked to estimate the value of y when x is 10 so let us find regression line of y on x to do so we will first calculate this table of values here first column represents the number of datas second represents values of x third column represent corresponding values of y in next column we are going to calculate product of x and y and in the last column we are going to calculate x square values so after filling all the entries we will take summation of every column at the bottom so we have summation x as 56 summation y as 40 summation xy as 364 and summation x square as 524 next we take y is equal to a plus bx as the line of regression y on x where a and b are any constants then we will calculate equation 1 and 2 as we did in my previous slide by taking summation on both sides of this equation we will have summation y is equal to n into a plus b into summation x here n is the number of data values given to us here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so n is 8 summation x we have already calculated on my previous slide it is 56 so equation 1 becomes 40 is equal to 8a plus 56b similarly we will multiply this equation by x and we will take summation on it to get the equation summation xy is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square we have already calculated what are summation xy summation x and summation x square we will substitute their values here to get equation number 2 now we will solve these two equations either manually or with the help of calculator to get values of a and b so after solving equation 1 and 2 we get a as 6 by 11 and b as 7 by 11 we will substitute these values of a and b back in this equation to get line of regression y on x so we get y is equal to 6 by 11 plus 7 by 11 x further simplifying which we get 7x minus 11y plus 6 is equal to 
Now, once we have this line of regression y on x, we can find what is the value of y when x is 10. All you need to do is substitute x is equal to 10 in this equation. We get y is equal to 76 by 11. Now let us see another example on this. Here the question is, from the following table showing the age of cars of a certain make and annual maintenance cost, obtain the regression equation for cost related to age. So in this data, first row represents age of cars, whereas the second row represents maintenance cost to that car. Question is to find the approximate cost of maintaining 3 years old car of the same make. So we know value of first row that is 3 years age of cars. We need to find value from the second row. So if I assume x as age of cars and assume y as maintenance cost, then we are given x and we are asked to find corresponding y. So let us first prepare this table of calculations in which first column represents serial number, second column represents values of x, third represents corresponding values of y, fourth is product of x and y and fifth is x square. At the bottom we will take summation of every column. So here summation x is 49, summation y is 12600 and so on. Now, next we let the corresponding line of regression y on x as y is equal to a plus byx into x. Then we will write the normal equations as we did earlier. Summation y is equal to an plus b into summation x. Substituting values for summation y, n and summation x, we have this equation. The second normal equation is summation xy is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square. Substituting values of these summation xy, summation x and summation x square, we get this equation. Now solving these two equations using calculator or manually, we will get values of a and b. In this case, values of a and b are 1430 and 52.8571 respectively. Substituting values of a and b back in this equation, we get line of regression y on x as y is equal to 1430 plus 52.8571 into x. Now we have line of regression y on x, we can easily find the maintenance cost for the 3 years old car by substituting x is equal to 3 in this equation. So we get y is equal to 1588.5713 rupees. I hope you understood how to deal with lines of regression of y on x or x and y and what is regression coefficient. We will see more examples on regression coefficient in my next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.